Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. Last time we were shocked at the ending of Burial at Sea Episode 1. I'm not going to spoil too much. If you haven't checked it out, please do. It's only four episodes long, so uh, go do that first before we head into Episode 2. As always, I'm going to try to be as thorough as possible. And I don't think we need to uh, spend any more time on this intro screen than we need to. So let's go to new game, hard as usual, and uh, continue. Sally, Sally, come out! She wasn't yours, Comstock. Elizabeth, I am so sorry. No, you're not. But you're about to be. Yep. That was the end of the previous episode. What the hell now? Oh, that's for sure gonna be copyrighted. That's freaking great. Now we're in Paris. So does that mean... Because Elizabeth always wanted to go to Paris. Yeah, okay. Elizabeth. Oh, no. No, I, I, I couldn't. I... I can't accept. Je vous en prie, j'insiste. Oh, thank you. Okay. We're playing as Elizabeth now. That's about time, right? Because she always wanted to go to Paris, and that's of course La Vie en Rose. Bonjour, Monsieur Surat. <sighs> Bonjour, Mademoiselle Life in Pink. Elizabeth. Je manque d'inspiration aujourd'hui. He uh, just says he uh, he's missing some inspiration. He can't find something to paint today. Um, this is nice. But why are we here? Why did we get the first bit about, uh, well, the previous episode, obviously. But nothing seems to be happening right now. Why are we in Paris? Bonjour, Elizabeth. So is this the Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite or not? Bonjour, mon ami. Oh my God, Alors, the tu birds. as parlé à la jolie petite américaine? Oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. So they're creepily all talking about Elizabeth. Journée, There's a road over there as well. And now she's singing along. Great. And everybody Bonne hears journée. the mu music. Comment ça va, Elizabeth? It's funny that it is translated sometimes in the uh, subtitles. Okay, and I got... Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. This is cool. Because I really like the art style of Bioshock Infinite. And the French is not bad. So, let's keep going, I suppose. I'm sorry, Cassette. Next time, I promise. dommage. Okay, is the music going weird or not? Because I feel like not everything's going to stay this happy. Where is this going? Hello? 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 Is there a wave button? Because I feel bad. <laughs> okay then. Um, there's the musicians. Une baguette? I want a baguette. Yes, give me a baguette. No? Okay. Look at this place. I'm so my, my video is so gonna get monetized now, but I don't care. This is nice. Okay, let's even the kittens are over the the, the, the kitties are over here. They look terrible. Well, thank you. La 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 Jeez! Where do I need to go? Or is this just... Oh. I can go over... Yeah, I can go down there. Are they talking about Paris or, or about something else? Because yeah, it is nice. Although it doesn't look that colorful in real life, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. Okay, there the camera went. Look, Twitter! Even the fucking bird is singing. 
How the hell? This isn't real, is it? This is. This doesn't seem real. Oiseau ou la cage? So the bird or the cage? La cage. Oiseau ou la cage? Pourquoi pas les deux? Okay, the music is fading. Oh, it's definitely fading. Oh yeah, a little girl with a balloon. Is this gonna be Sally then? Because she's carrying the same doll, I think, that Booker had in his hands. Well, Comstock had in his hands. See that doll? I think that's the doll heads from the end of the previous episode. Sally? Sally? Yep. Sally! Um. So I think this must be the Elizabeth from Burial at Sea then, because the other Elizabeth wouldn't know a Sally. Oh, there's the Sally, wait. there's the doll head, and I think yeah. Oh my God! Well, that turned quickly, and it's all moldy wait. bread now. Oh, okay. And yeah, I think this is Elizabeth skilled about killing Sally. Oh, and that's on fire. Well, that turned quickly. Sally, stop! Come back. I want to go back to the singing bit. Sally, where are you going? Um, I can't run, if you're wondering. Come back. Sally, hold on! Come back. Oh, what the fuck? So those were playing cards with the uh, Rapture lighthouse on them. And that's a lobotomy. So a procedure they used before to cure crazy people by shoving a needle into your brain. I don't want to go in there. Ooh, that's me. No, that's my tower. But that's it. This is weird. Why, why would there be something about a lobotomy in here? Okay. Stop, stop. So this shouldn't be in Paris. Which makes me confirm even more that this is a dream, probably. And the balloon is going down the stairs. And it's not... Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure, book it to it. Here we go again. Oh, yeah, I know what this is. That's us killing Sally. Um. Whoa. Jesus! Go away. It wasn't my fault. Ow, that hurt. I didn't do anything. Oh god. No. Oh god. It wasn't my fault. Leave me alone. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never should have left. I never should have left you there. Okay. So that's clearly Elizabeth struggling with the fact that she killed Sally. Well, made Comstock kill Sally. Kinda. What the fuck? Why are we on the ground? Hi. Oh. Empty. She's not Empty dead. Again. What are the odds? Sally's alive. What's the hold up? Just having a bit of a oh wow. Laugh at this ain't a sporting event. Put a bullet in her. No need to torture the poor girl. We're not animals, you know. All right, all right, all right. Let her go! Quiet down, dear. In a minute, Goodbye, Comstock. all your problems will be over. Elizabeth. What the? Tell him you can get him back. Booker? Booker? What? Say, I don't I understand. Get, How? Say, I can get you back to Rapture. What? Just say it. I can get you back to Rapture. So, hello, Fortune Fontaine, the by the way. Down. Now. What was that you said about Rapture? I can get you back to Rapture. And how you plan on doing that, sister? You some kind of magician? Su Chong. What? Tell him Su Chong. Su Chong. And how do you know that slant eyed wonder? You're his lab assistant. I'm his lab assistant. If it escaped your notice, I would have said Andrew you're his Ryan lab assistant. Five thousand fathoms below his shining city. 
How does Su Chong propose to get us back? That's between me. That's between me. And the slant. And the slant. But if I do this, the girl goes with me. Little sisters are worth their weight in gold. She's not up for negotiation. Last time I checked, back in the city they were making little sisters by the dozen. That's a right fairy tale you've dreamed up, sister. But if you're lying, we can just as well kill you tomorrow. Down here, we got nothing but time. So that's the radio. You. If you see Su Chong, tell him. Atlas says he hasn't forgotten him. Ow! <laughs> Lonely Punch. Great subtitles there. Okay, so we're playing as Elizabeth. We're Elizabeth. hallucinating Lord, Booker's Elizabeth. voice and Booker. image. What? Why is he here again? On the radio. You're not Booker. Well, of course I ain't. What have I gotten myself into? I didn't orphan that girl. I didn't kidnap her. Uh, but she made for some exceptional bait, didn't she? They dragged him away. Why is he here again? Okay, don't have any other choice than to pick Had up the doll's head. Did it. I felt everything that every version of me felt. All of that knowledge. It, I lost a pinky, but that version of me, she lost everything. Well, mostly her head. Comstock. That final Comstock. He thought he could avoid his guilt by coming here. You educated him proper. But then why am I back here? Huh? I don't remember opening a tear to come back. And who are you? Huh? I think you'll figure that out soon enough. I think you'll figure that out soon enough. So... Exit toy department. We need to get out of here, but we need to get Fontaine slash Atlas a way of getting back up to the city because we're still in the Fontaine department store that is sunk to the bottom of the ocean and well it's apparently lower than where Rapture is holy shit that's a big hole I would have made it see-through so if you went like this that you what the hell is that why is there wavy thingies around my vision now when I'm crouched there might be some stealth mechanics then okay I don't remember this being destroyed. Because we fought in this room, but this door... That's the door towards the uh, temperature thingy. Hello? Okay. Need to head over... Well, it seems like it's all destroyed. What's this? Climb wreckage. Okay, then. I'm assuming this is the way forward, then. Hello? And... Cause that's also destroyed. Okay, going down. I was in Paris. I, I was happy, and now I'm here dealing with this Atlas, this, this psychopath. What was I thinking? I wasn't Paris any more than I am Booker. Now I have to find this this Su Chong, and I don't even know who that is. Not yet, but you know he's the key, don't you? To what? You're asking me, Elizabeth. So he's very self-conscious about the fact that he's not real. Just looping around here, I feel like, but... So, that clearly wasn't Paris, because that was a dream, but if Booker says that he's the same way... Then... Uh, we're still dreaming? Or not? Why is everything destroyed? This just didn't happen in that fight. Why was Elizabeth unconscious, and where did Fontaine's man all of a sudden come from? What's this? Move rubble. Okay then. How, what are you? Huh? And how did you know exactly what to tell Atlas? Let me ask you a question. You feel like yourself, Elizabeth. What? I feel... I feel strange and, and smaller. I, I can't see the doors. What's behind the doors? I, I can't see the future. I can't even see any tears. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Ah. Oh uh. 
Stay away from me. Booker. No. No. No, please. Please don't. I died here. I was killed by that... Stay away from me! But then, how am I... here? How can I be dead in this world and yet... Because you're not from this world, there we go again. Although we... Finger. Yeah, she still has her finger. I don't understand, I... I... If we're going to end up in the same place, it doesn't seem hard enough to do right. Are you being cute? Jesus, this I've is getting complicated. Have you? Yes. I do believe one can change things. But after all the bother, one often wishes that one had not. You're a fatalist. A physicist. A fatalist. So was Newton. Especially when it came to apples falling from trees. They always contrived to land with a splat. She left the child to rot. Are you implying she's the apple? I'm implying that she did not fall far from the tree. And now she wants to go back. I need to go back. To fix what I broke. Uh -huh. Back to where she has no right to be. Back to where she doesn't belong. Doesn't belong? Wait, what do you mean? Do you want to tell her brother, or shall I? Because I died. There are rules. Even for one such as you. She'll forget. All the doors. And what's behind all the doors. All close to her now. She'll be just like the rest of us. Forgetting the past. The present. The future. I'd wager she won't even remember this conversation. We've arrived. Um, so that kind of explains it. So, Sally, as far as I understand it, of course, Sally did die in the previous episode. You're trading omniscience and croissants for death and mildew. I left Sally to rot. For what? So I could punish Comstock? He was trying to help her, to save her, and I... If I don't make that right... We all have our crosses to bear. But there is a thin line between a martyr and a fool. So Sally did die in that heated vent. Comstock was killed by the Big Daddy, but then the Big Daddy was of course furious at Elizabeth for not keeping the little sister safe. And then killed her as well. And then now we're gently down the stream. <laughs> okay, and cannon. So then one of the other Elizabeths, because every Elizabeth remembers everything, of course. She says that in the beginning. Remembers that what this, well, the previous Elizabeth that we played, well, played alongside with, did. When she killed Sally, and now she wants to fix that, so she went back, made a different version of everything where Sally was still alive, and now Fontaine has her. Life is but a dream. That's fitting. Lutessa's warned me that if I came back here, I would collapse. Collapse? From a, a quantum superposition to just me. The quantum what? I've changed, Booker. No tears, no cosmic knowledge. Where the hell did that room come from? Just a normal girl. With a normal pinky. I hate it. it. If I can't open tears, I... I'm never leaving here, am I? I... I'm never going back to Paris. You... And you, you're just... You're, you're just what? You're, you're just the fragments of my memory telling me what my future holds? You decided to come here, Elizabeth. You knew what that meant. Only option, as I see it, is to trust yourself. Find Su Chong. So, because of the fact that everything never happened, she never got her finger cut off. Which caused her to not be in two dimensions at once, which removed her powers, because her pinky is still is, is back to normal. Which means that she doesn't have her powers, I presume. So let's just pull the switch here. Because this is getting really complicated, but I think that's pretty much it. We're playing as another version of Elizabeth that somehow restored her own self of not being shattered into dimensions. Which did remove her powers, but gave her one chance to save Sally. Which we now need to do, because Fontaine has her. Okay, I think everything's clear. So let's head to where... Where the fuck are we going? 
We're going even deeper. Why do I even need to go? Hello? Oh, oh, maintenance. I don't have any weapons. He's gonna wanna get this message. Which means as soon as he gets back, alright? I think I'm gonna have to use this air grabber. It's gonna be messy, I don't know if Well a blow to the back of his head will serve just as well. It'd be a hell of a lot quieter too. That's not what you would have done. I'm not Booker. Just because your father did something one way doesn't mean you have to. Oh shit. We're not finished! He knows where I am. What the okay? Oh, because of the claws. Oh, that is interesting. Okay, so I can't sneak, but I need to be careful where I walk. So water is probably the same way if I walk into water. Hello, dumbass. So this is teaching you not to step into water or glass. Okay. Now into the... The, the big world. Suitcase in tow. Hello. You'll want to get the drop on him and quiet. Shh. He can't hear what's only in your head. I gotta get my act together. I gotta get my act. Yeah. It's still triangle. Okay. He's not getting up anytime soon. And what with his head all attached to his body. From here on, it's only gonna get worse. And how much worse is up to you? Okay. So this is this just turned into a stealth game. A clay, Bradburn. It's up to us to see they become Grecian urns and don't return to mud. Get them. Okay, young. where the hell are we, by the way? <laughs> you can mold them for life. He's like Henry! Fetch that black label lacus, that twelve year old single malt. Let's discuss this like men. He's a, a real talker, isn't he? Henry! Hello! Now okay. let's get his lockpick. Lockpick, and I can use that to open the lock. But let's just look around here for a bit. Corner of Oh, this is a school. Ryan the Lion reminds you parasites are never welcome. Ryan the Lion Preparatory Academy. And Ryan the Lion, of course, being a version of Andrew Ryan. Um, can we go in here? Looks like the gym. It doesn't matter how you play, it matters how you win. Okay then. Doesn't seem like there's anybody here. Are there going to be audio diaries in this version as well? Ooh, money. One coin for me. Can I play basketball? No. The ball is uh, unmovable. The corner of shame. This is... This is kind of horrible to children. I don't think there's anything here. Cozy. Today's art lesson. Draw a parasite you met today. Oh. So somebody told... Ugh, told the teacher that mommy was uh, a parasite. I will not share my toys. I will not share my... What? That is... Why would you need punishment for that? Um, let's lock pick. Lock picking can be easy. With the right tools and know-how. Use your lock pick to probe a pin. A neutral pin will open the door. A blue pin will open the door and knock free a noisemaker. A red pin will open the door, but also sound an alarm. Okay. Where did that video come from, by the way? How is that? Oh. Simple enough. Just a six-pin tumbler. Oh, but there's an alarm. <laughs> the splice is snoring in the I background. Come in handy, though. So there is no blue pin in this one. There we go. Open the lock and we're out of lock picks again. Let's go silent. Grab the health kit. Oh. Now we have. Oh. We have health kits again, like in Bioshock 1 and 2. 
Michael Ramsey, Corey Storr and Oliver Hong. So the teachers here. You must only buy fruits and vegetables. Peter the Parasites. The splice is over there. But it's closed off with a crossbow. That's going to give us our first weapon. I still have a feeling that this won't be a normal run and gun situation. Chew on that, you parasite. Okay. So the mouse is, uh, well, still a symbol for religion and communism and in rapture, in rapture, not not for everybody. Communism. Okay. Anything else here? Oh Jesus! <laughs> what was that? Good you know, question. Don't you? The, the doors, they're, they're, they're cracking open. My memories of the future and, and, and somewhere I'm going to go. You sure it's your future you're looking at? If not mine, then, then whose? So those are... Are those crossbow bolts? That have been bent because of target practice? Always shoots to kill. Cozy. And there's a lot of those cardboard uh, Peter the Parasite thingies to shoot at. Pacification of disruptive children. Oh, did they use those crossbows on children? That is creepy. Oh, and those are dead guys. You sure you're ready to use that? It's a crossbow. Looks like the bolt delivers some kind of sleep agent. Probably fencyclidine or sodium thiopental. <laughs> they had all kinds of books in my tower. How do you think I always knew what ammo to toss you? No one ain't the same as being ready. Why don't you ask Comstock how ready I was? Your father's blood runs in your veins, but it doesn't have to be on your hands. And what it's up does to you. Warn us? Those who cannot create will always steal from those who do. So I can get a few extra. Where is your bolts empathy? here? Asks Peter the parasite while he picks your pocket. Do you know this word? Just gonna hit him down then. You'll find it in the dictionary under L I. -E. Oh. All right, boys and girls. What does Ryan the Lion tell us about the tragedy e of the comet? E Peter the parasite says she. I may be old, but I'm not deaf. Where is she? Where does one find the parasite? Nesting in... Oh! oh god. That's terrifying. That's what this is. Incessant, unfounded prying into my respectable entrepreneurial So now there's a third guy in the kitchen. Criminal dealings? Ha! Fallacy and misdirection from those afraid to let the market take its natural course. Oh god, he's not there. He's in this room. And cannon ammo hook. First, the law gets bribery. Then, you'll want some fella in my privy advising how I defecate. What's next? Martial law? Jesus, this is tense. Where is he? Seems to me you're against a guy making an honest buck. I thought Rapture was open for business! Oh, the water. Fuck. So I greased a few palms here and there. There we go. So if I remember correctly, that should be all. Because we started with three guys. Uh, I think... Should be fine. Proper discipline. Official procedure for problem children use of possession is advised. Possession... Okay, these are all empty. Okay, let's just search around a bit. Shotgun ammo. So I do get ammo for other guns as well, but I don't feel like Elizabeth's gonna be able to withstand as much punishment as a uh, Booker. Although I can, I can be wrong. I can be wrong. So where the hell did he even? Oh, do those corpses even disappear? That is weird because we don't kill them; they just fall asleep. Oh. There's a vent over there. Let's... And the vent. And then, can I just pick up... The money? 
Ooh. Doesn't seem like we can... Because this is all connected to one another, probably. To get around the enemies. Yeah, there's no money in here, so let's go up again. Because I think we checked out everything downstairs, and this just leads us back... Oh. Oh, there's even skyhooks. Never saw that. Probably for when... Uh, ooh, ammo. For when uh, combat rolls around, that you can use the... Air hooks to use them on splicers. Ouch. She can do that quietly. Oh, there's the hand cannon. Uh, pick up. Do we have a weapon wheel? Yeah, we do. I'm just gonna go with the tranquilizer for now. Seems like that's all there is to this place. So let's go back into sneak. Hourly rates: one dollar, one child, two dollars, two children, five dollars, three or more. Okay. Weird rates. This week's maker, this week's taker. Okay, Jimmy Ward was a taker. Let's open the door. Don't know why that needs to be What's an animation. Okay. That's the name you had me tell Atlas. Huh. I don't follow. Looks like this character Su Chong has taken over the Silverfin restaurant. That's. That's where the tear was that I used when I first came to Rapture looking for Comstock. Before this place was turned into a prison. But the first time you came to Rapture was in 1960, with Booker. When you drowned some... Over a year from now. Yeah, that, that that's right. I When I could see all the doors, it, it all made sense, but now... Now it's, it's just a jumble. Elizabeth, and it's just a jumble. You're bleeding. Now I know what it feels like. All right, if we're gonna find Su Chong, the Silverfin is the place to start. I know the way. Okay, you do? Probably through the elevator, which is busted, so a need to know theater. Let's watch that. Free men and free markets. Are you in the know? There has been a lot of idle talk from gadflies and naysayers following the nationalization of Fontaine Futuristics. I believe in free men and free markets. But I also believe in my city. And Frank Fontaine's purpose was nothing less than the destruction of Rapture. It was he who gave comfort to the laggards and layabouts. It was he who coddled the traps and vagabonds. Fontaine was poisoning the people of Rapture. But his venom wasn't made of arsenic or strychnine. No. It was concocted from something far deadlier. It was brewed from altruism. Altruism now, sounds know. good. Sounds like a really good trait in people. But before we head towards the uh, the Silverfin restaurant. We're gonna take a little break, so thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're gonna, well, see if we can find Su Chong. So uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.